hello everyone you are welcome back to my channel how are you doing okay on today's video we are going to be discussing when you build your house and you sell it on outright and then when you build your house and you let it out to earn annual income which of these gives you a better return on your investment interesting right <laughs> and sure to watch this video till the end because at the end you are going to be properly guided you're going to be well informed all right we're going to explain this scenario properly for you so that you make the best decision on your landed property <laughs> If you are new on this channel, please like, share our videos to your friends and well wishers. But most importantly, subscribe to this channel. And then our old subscribers, we are always appreciative. We are always thankful to you for being there. Now to the business of the day. Building and selling versus building and renting which of these gives a better return on your investment <laughs> okay i'm going to be discussing this using two of my clients all right so the topic at hand is not an assumption we are giving you a practical thing something that has been practiced all right so i'm going to use two of my clients to explain this one of them builds and of course he has let it out tenants are already there and then the other person built and he sold it so we are going to use their scenario their case scenario to explain this properly so that you will be properly informed and then you make a better decision do not forget my promise to you to bring to you affordable reliable genuine and secure property anywhere in nigeria especially in the city of enugu and of course i am always available to ensure that you invest wisely so i am guiding you through this journey because i want you to enjoy the business of real estate all right i do not want you to make any mistake at all so the first person erected three-story building block of flats and then he let it out collected his um, first annual rent and then sat back and did a thorough calculation he needed to know how long it's going to take him to realize his capital and then how long it's going to take him to have a return on investment which is the profit in the business guess what it's going to take him about 20 whole years for him to realize his capital. And you and I know that within this period of 20 years, he is going to be maintaining the house. He is going to be maintaining the house. There comes a time when he would have to repaint the house, the electricity, the plumbing work, all this will cost money and it will take him a whole 20 years to realize his capital so the more he's waiting for the capital to be realized the more he's spending in the maintenance and of course you know as well that in the next 20 years if that maintenance is not done constantly the building is going to become dilapidated and it will become out of people's interests and it will go off trend yes it will go off trend because almost every year new structure comes to an area new structure comes in and people would want to move into a new apartment all right new building new apartments everything new well furnished so it only takes good maintenance for this particular one to continue to be in good shape till the next 20 years 
let's see how it's gonna play out all right so when he discovered so this he was one, like, okay if i'm going to be getting this on a yearly basis from this particular property it's fine by me so the next one he's going to build he will take um, another decision on what to do with it so he's a landlord he has something giving him yearly income so irrespective of how the economy turns out he has a yearly income somewhere and of course you and i know that this landlord has a way of increasing house rents uh -huh. irrespective of how old their building is <laughs> so they have a way, a way of increasing their house rents if they discover that oh the new buildings in this environment is now being uh, um they, they are they're letting it out for 1.1 million or 1.2 million or 800,000. they will increase their own without minding if their own is worth it or not but that's by the way so he is cool with that decision to be earning on a yearly basis he's cool with it okay he, he was like give or take no matter how bad the economy is i know that certainly i'm getting this at the end of every year and then um it could go it could be more it could be it, it, it's never going to be lesser but it could be more yeah because it keeps house rent keeps increasing so it could be more but it can never go lesser all right so that is his entire decision and he's cool with it and his children could as well inherit it all right his children could inherit it so that is one part of a decision maker now the second decision maker who is also a, a real estate guru lives abroad has been in the business of real estate for a while now he spent roughly 200 million naira to erect six units, three bedrooms, terrace. All right. right. And he sold it unit by unit. He made 65 million naira per unit. That he sold it at the rate of 65 million naira per unit. And when he was done selling the six units he got 390 million naira from selling the whole house now taking out the cost of building the house which is 200 million naira he's he's left with a profit of 190 million naira to him he is the best decision maker to the other person he is the best decision maker guess what both are right both are good in their own thinking both are correct it depends on your mission in the real estate business it depends on what you want some persons would want to have building in enugu in anambra in asaba lagos abuja they would want to have building in all these places and then let it out and be earning on a yearly basis. Why some persons would want to build and then sell it out? So it all depends on you, what you want. But the target is earning good return on your investment. To me, the person that built and sold his own made a good decision because he has made a profit of 190 million naira within a year so he's just gonna reinvest buy more landed property and then allow to appreciate build again and if if you're doing a business and you are getting a profit of 190 million naira per annum then you are in a good business now i am not saying that the first person made a bad decision mm -mm. his aim is to be earning some income on a yearly basis and he has done well for himself it all depends on what you want i hope you got value from watching this video do not forget that i am always available to ensure that you invest wisely in the southeast and nugu nigeria I remain your best friend and your real estate consultant here in the Southeast. Love it, Aneke.
feel free to always call or whatsapp me on 0803-743-5005 until i come your way again bye for now